Keenan, and it was taken last week during a center meeting with the Hillsdale County Republican Party. You'll hear from the chair of that party in just a moment. And again, as you mentioned, we did speak to a University of Michigan political science professor. His insight not only on this video, but also the subsequent apology and what, if any, impact it will have. Take a listen. When you're in a position of power, you have a series of additional responsibilities. And that's true of President Trump and part of why there are separate political ramifications that occur in the context of an impeachment trial. And it's also true of Senator Shirky. Associate Professor of Political Science at U of M, Josh Pasek, says after the comments Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky made about the Capitol riot in this video, that's been a hoax from the day, from day one. And I'm sorry isn't enough. The fact that they come back and apologize after embracing a conspiracy theory is not really a sufficient remedy for the potential dangers that that can cause in the first place. In the video, Shirky also falsely claims the angry mob that stormed the Capitol wasn't Trump supporters. They went in on separate buses. I mean, that was all, you know, arranged by somebody that was funding it all. Hillsdale County Republican Party Chairman Darren Wisely says Shirky's words were surprising. For Shirky, who himself is very establishment, um, I really didn't expect him to hold those positions. It's whatever he can do at the moment to make himself more popular. The Senate Majority Leader says in part, quote, I have many flaws. Being passionate coupled with an occasional lapse in restraint of tongue are at least two of them. I regret the words I chose and I apologize for my insensitive comments. It's unconscionable that he can work to undermine democracy one day and make laws for Michiganders the next. Says House Democratic Leader Donna Lazinski, now calling on lawmakers from both sides of the aisle to consider removing Shirky. Calling the insurrection at our Capitol a hoax requires a clear denunciation of that remark. And that is not something we have seen from the Senate Majority Leader, at least not at this point. During that apology statement, nowhere in it did he indicate that the statements he made pertaining to January 6 were in fact false. You can read his full apology on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting live this morning, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News. Thank you, Jen.